Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here rolling solo dolo on this Madden 20 how-to video. Something new we haven't done before. Uh, last year, I had a bunch of people ask me, Hey Jonas, how do you relocate a team? I can't figure it out. So here we go. I'm going to show you step by step what you have to do to be able to relocate a team and relocate them immediately so you don't have to wait until your state performance is bad. Um, what you need to do, so you go to Franchise, go to Cloud, and when you get in there, you want to create a new franchise. And you, I would always use the custom roster. Uh, I don't like using the real life roster because it, it uh, goes with whatever it is at that moment. I like to use the, the roster I have loaded up, whatever it may be. So it'll import the roster. It'll take a little bit of time here. <clears throat> it'll get, it will get loaded up. So there's a couple things that you have to do to make sure that you can relocate your team whenever you want. Um, because if not, normally your team has to be, have an old stadium, be performing poorly, etc., for it to let you, you move your team. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, uh, who am I going to move? We just for, just for this example, we will move the Packers. Great. So you take the Packers. Start your season you want to go down. You, you have to change, change your role roles, first and foremost. You options. have to be an owner. So you want to go ahead and be an or owner. Um, this is all a preference to you to what you want. I always go with Financial Mogul because you start with more money. It's sometimes harder to make money, especially if your team is trash. Uh, so I'll go with Financial Mogul. Um, I'm going to name my owner. Uh, let's see here. Jonas. I'm going to name him Jonas. And last name can be owner. That's great because it's just for these purposes. So Jonas owner. The new owner of the Green Bay Packers. So and then from here. Uh, you would change your starting point. I always choose the preseason. Uh, you can do a fantasy draft if you want. It'll still work, but I'm going to start from the preseason. And in my league settings, um, what you want to do, this is super important. You want to go down to where it says relocation settings. If you leave it on normal, you can relocate, but you have to have certain criteria met. You want to change this to... I mean, you can do users only, but I don't know if it works as well. You, I always pick everyone can relocate. So this will not only allow you to relocate, it'll allow other teams to relocate as well. So all the other settings you set for what you want them to be, whether it's your quarters, your difficulty, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to kind of move fast through this so we can get this done. So you want to go ahead, everything's set, you start playing. So it'll get you, it'll start you out in the preseason, and what you want to do is the first thing you want to do is go, I haven't done it in tw Madden 20 yet. Okay, you want to go to my owner. It's always under owner is where you go. You go down to stadium, and in stadium, uh, in stadium you pick relocate. It'll be available to do it. You hit relocate, and confirm. So, boom, relocated is started. So, what you want to do here is the first season you're going to be the Packers. What I normally do is I go through the steps of relocating my team. Then I usually will simulate the rest of the season to the end. And then in the off season, you become the new team. I'll show you that in this video as well. So, you get out of here. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the training, etc. I'm going to let everything be automated because I don't, I don't mind. Um, so, you just want to slowly advance through the weeks. Uh, until you get to uh, the week. I'll see what week it pops up here. So every week there will be options here. You want to simulate. It, that's as if you don't want to play your team. Uh, simulate until it'll pop up. I believe it's start relocation. So usually I believe it is a couple weeks into the regular season. But with the new Madden, I don't know. So we'll keep go ahead and advancing the week. We'll let us do automated everything here. And here we are at week one. It's still not here. Start your and you got to make sure you don't simulate too far. Player. Because if you simulate too far, it will, it'll pick it for you. Like, so if once you start relocation, if you try to pick your city, etc., and you simulate, it will, it'll auto do it for you. And if that, what's the fun of picking, letting the computer pick where you're going. So... We're going to keep going down. Okay, so we are what? At week three. Go to next week. 
Um, okay, nothing here. Keep going. Maybe week five is the week. I think that's what it was last year's week five. There it is. Start relocation. So it pops up. So you go. So what you do is you select. Now, don't back out of this menu once you get inside the menu. So you go in. You say view available cities. This will give you all the cities that you can check that you can pick to move to. Um, in every city, it'll have the name of the city, their market size, which will is good for if you um, how much money you can potentially earn, and their personality. Whether it's basically saying you either have to whether you have to be good or not for them to come to the games, and then it'll tell you what three choices you're going to have if you move to that city so for example it says london's a huge market that would love an nfl team choose from the bulldogs the monarchs or the black knights so if you move to london your team names can be the bulldogs the monarchs or the black knights the market size is huge so there's a potential to make tons of money and the person they're loyal so they're going to come regardless so the choices you have this year which i think they're the same as they've been forever they don't usually they've been the same for probably a decade london mexico city toronto san antonio orlando Salt Lake City, Brooklyn, Memphis, Chicago, so you can put a second team in Chicago, Sacramento, Columbus, Ohio, Portland, Oregon, Austin, uh, Dublin, Ireland, Houston, which is awesome. You can put a second team in Houston. You can actually bring back the Oilers, which is kind of cool. Uh, Oklahoma City, St. Louis, and if you, but if you move to St. Louis, you don't get choices of teams. It, it just it makes that your team. Whatever you move there. So if you move the Packers, it'd be St. Louis Packers. Uh, San Diego, Las Vegas, and it looks like Las Vegas is the same as St. Louis. It'll make it the Las Vegas Packers. Uh, London. So I'm just going to, just for, for giggles, I'm going to pick, uh, I'll pick uh, Orlando. Great. Okay, so you do that. Then you go to the next week. So we will advance it to the next week. Now the following week. Boom. You get to pick what team name you want to be. So unless you pick St. Louis or Las Vegas, you're going to have the choice to pick the team name you are, the Packers, or you can pick from the other team. So we have the Packers, the Orbits, the Sentinels, or the Wizards. And it'll tell you which what the fans like the best and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to go with the I'm going to go with the Orlando Orbits just for whatever. That's fine. The Orlando Orbits. So then you go ahead and go down, advance your week to the following week. And then it'll let you pick your uniform. Same thing. You don't want to simulate this. It will auto pick your uniform. So it gives you three choices, which this one is what? Black pants and blue. It gives you shows you home and it shows you away. Style two does look hard, looks hardly any different. And three looks even hardly any different on these. It gives you a fan opinion, a popularity to see which one is which. For this this city, it's 30%, 34, 36. I'll go with the most popular. It has a couple little things what people say, like Orlando bro says the stripes on the shoulders are great. I mean, it, it, it I don't think this really matters. So you do that, and then finally the following week, the last week, is when you get to pick your stadium. Now, I'm gonna give you a little tip on the stadiums. This is for my personal opinion. You have the basic stadium, There's, and then you have advanced stadiums. The basic stadiums, I believe, start at level one for, like, concessions and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't cost as much money. It doesn't cost you as much money, like, per year to uh, the per week, you know, because it says, like, build costs is how much it costs to build and how much it costs you per week as a franchise. But if you... Go with the advanced stadium. You have the highest level. So the fans are happier and you have more food options and merchandise options and stuff in your owner tools, which help you generate more money for signing bonuses and things like that for your players. So um, you can either do the, the deluxe traditional stadium, the, the dome, the hybrid, which has a retractable roof, the futuristic, which has all sorts of fancy lights and stuff on the inside. Or the deluxe canopy, which kind of has like an over tier. I, I, I usually just kind of do whatever I f I'm feeling on this one. Uh, for this specific example, I'm going to go with the deluxe traditional uh, because it's the largest stadium. It holds the most people. I can make the most money that way. So you go here. It shows you the promotion. See, parking, team store, fan zone, bathrooms, concessions are all level five. So I will go ahead and but see what I mean. It costs like double what the other stadium costs which is fine. 
So I will go ahead and begin construction. And now at this point, uh, you you can just you're done getting the relocation together. Um, so what I normally do at this point is I'm gonna go ahead and simulate uh, to the end of the season. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to do it week by week real quick just to make sure nothing else pops up because they may have something new. I haven't done that this yet in Madden 20. Uh, we'll do this. All right, nothing new still. We're keeping going. But what I like to do uh, when we get to the, the season, I like to fire my coach and hire a new coach uh, for the fresh team. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So we'll go ahead and keep going through. This is week 12. Um, see, because this whole process, this has taken, what, where are we at, 11, 11 minutes or so? So you can really get your team relocated really fast if you don't care about doing the things. You can set all the settings to man to automatic, and it'll, like, it'll scout players for you. It'll do all that sort of stuff. Um, it depends how in-depth you want to get with your team before they move. So let me go ahead and do this. We're going down. What is this, week 15? All right. I don't even know what our record is. That'd be awesome if we made the playoffs. Uh, I always find it bittersweet when you move a team and then they make the playoffs the same year. So we'll do that. Uh, now we're week 17. There's been nothing new to do. We're going to the wild card. What are we? Are we? We have gotten to. Oh, we're in the wild card. Ha, huh, look at that. So uh, there's nothing here. We're just going to. We Do we have three ties? What the heck is going on? Why would we have three ties? Anyways. All right, so we'll go to the next week. Hopefully, we lost. I just want to get to the next thing. Um, we we did. So here, so we did lose. So when you lose, if you're or if you don't make the playoffs, it'll bring up resign re staff. So what you do is you – now, I'm going to warn you. If you exit out of this menu, it will not give you this option again. So once you go in, do not hit the back button. So I will go ahead and go into resign staff, start re resigning. So what you can do is see if you highlight your coaches here. See at the very bottom it says X fire staff. You can fire all of your staff and then you're then like I think in a week or so it'll ask you to start signing a new coach. So we're gonna fire. Are we sure we wanna fire? Yes. Are we gonna fire? Are we sure we wanna fire? Yes. And yes. So I like to get a clean slate when I move to a new city. So we need a coach, a trainer, and a scout. So I'm gonna advance the week because I'm not exactly sure when it starts popping up to find a new coach. Uh, see right here, same thing. When you go into hire staff, make sure you do not exit out until you're ready because it will it will not give you the option. I've actually had it automatically sign me a coach when I didn't want it to because I hit the, the back button. So you'll go in here, make staff offers. I'm just going to pick random people. It doesn't really matter. We'll go to coaches. We'll just take Hedrick. That's great. Uh, scouts, tub, great. Trainers, winners, great. So we'll see if we resign resign re them. And we will advance the week to the Pro Bowl. And then now we're at the Pro Bowl. Uh, we hired a coach. Looks like we hired a head coach. We'll advance to the Super Bowl. It is not giving me another option to sign a coach yet. So Scouting the other guys probably didn't sign. Week. Okay, I see higher staff. If they don't sign, the it'll give you another option. You we have... So we have a coach. Uh, and you can change it to available. And then go over to scouts. We so oh he signed with us so we have him too, and then tra oh he signed with us so yeah we're good okay it said we had everybody so I don't know why it asked asked me that again so we'll advance week once you get to the Super Bowl and you advance the week you're in the off season and what does that mean? Dun da 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 we are now the Orlando orbits um so you may have wanted to do this before you go through this whole process look at this. What I did, change a scenery, I got an achievement, Lo relocate a team. So you'll get an achievement if you do it. So you want to go over in your My Owner menu. That is where you go under, uh, let's see here. Is it? F I don't even remember what it is. It uh, s Stadium, marketing, finances. Or can you not do this anymore? Oh, here it is. Yeah, finances. So this is where you set your ticket prices for all your different things, your merchandise, and the more levels of your stadium the, the more things you have to offer because if you go to uh concessions here 
you see how there's basic two star, three star, four star, five star. If you don't have level five, you don't have these five star things. You set all your prices. It helps you make money when you have home games. And then this goes to team revenue. Uh, it says the more home games you play, the more money you make. So making the playoffs at home is a big plus because uh, you're going to make more. You have extra home games. In away games, you lose money because you have to pay the player and the staff every week. So it, it kind of gives you a breakdown. And then that's another aspect of owner mode. And then there's all this other stuff that you can look at and see your owner goals and your team value and your finances. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can look at, fan happiness, your staff, etc. So, but that is how you do it. And then from there, you just you just keep on going through. And then you'll go through the uh, offseason, go through the draft, signing free agents, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you're playing as the Orlando Orbits. I believe if you have the league set the way I showed you, everyone can relocate. You might be able to relocate your team every year. So, like, you play as the Orbits, you <laughs> relocate, and you go through. Um, sometimes I do that, and I'll relocate a, a team every couple of years, etc. So, um, but that is it, guys. That is all the time I have for today's video on how to re relocate a team in Madden 20. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here. Um, we also have tons of other videos on the channel. We have a bronze playthrough. We have a QB1 playthrough. Uh, we, ha we have another. Uh, we'll be doing a relocated Austin Desperados, continuing from last season. Check out our playlist page with my co-host TNT Dynamite. We have tons of stuff on the channel. So if you like what you see, please leave a comment. Um, I try to get back to everybody. So, But for Jonas, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you relocate a team. I'll catch you on the next one. But for now, I... M.